It doesn't hunt like other sharks. It doesn't look like one either. With a blade-like snout, translucent skin, and a jaw that launches out of its face like a nightmare, this creature is both ancient and terrifying. Meet the goblin shark, the deep sea's living fossil. The goblin shark, or Mitsukurina ostoni, is one of the most bizarre and elusive sharks known to science. Often called a living fossil, it belongs to a lineage that dates back over 125 million years to a time when dinosaurs still ruled the earth. Yet very few people have ever seen one alive. Why? Because this shark lives in the depths typically between 100 and the 200 meters below the surface, far beyond where sunlight reaches. Its appearance alone is enough to provoke fascination. The goblin shark has a long flattened snout, almost sword-like, filled with electroreceptors used to detect the faintest signals from prey. Its eyes are small and adapted for low light, but it's the jaw that steals the show. Unlike other sharks, the goblin shark's jaw is not fixed. It can catapult its entire lower jaw outward to catch prey with terrifying speed. When it senses movement, the goblin shark launches its jaws forward in a slingshot-like motion using ligaments and muscles to project its mouth several centimeters out from its skull. Teeth like needles snap shut around fish squid or crustaceans, then retract just as quickly. This striking ability allows it to capture prey with incredible precision, even in complete darkness. Its body is soft and flabby, pale pink or grayish in color, a result of blood vessels showing through semi-translucent skin. This isn't a fast swimmer or an aggressive chaser. It relies on stealth and surprise. Its body design is more suited for slow drifting than quick pursuit, making its sudden rapid jaw attack all the more shocking. Despite its monstrous look, the goblin shark is not dangerous to humans. In fact, we pose more of a threat to it. Most specimens have been caught accidentally in deep sea fishing nets. Because of its deep habitat and elusive nature, very little is known about its behavior, social life, or reproduction. Juveniles have been observed, but no one has ever recorded goblin sharks giving birth or mating. Scientists believe they are ov ov oviviparous, meaning H H, hatch inside the female's body, and live young are born, but direct evidence is lacking. Every new specimen brings fresh clues but so far, the goblin shark remains a mystery in many ways. Its teeth are thin and needle-like, perfectly suited for gripping slippery prey. The upper jaw contains longer teeth for piercing, while the lower jaw holds more uniform rows for holding. Its tongue is flat, and the mouth can open to almost 111 degrees when attacking. The goblin shark is found in scattered locations around the world off the coasts of Japan, South Africa, Australia, and the Gulf of Mexico. These are often near continental slopes, underwater canyons, and seamounts. It is believed to be solitary and slow-moving, with no known predators, except perhaps humans. In recent years, rare deep-sea footage of the goblin shark has resurfaced online captivating viewers with its alien-like design. One clip shows its jaw launching out in real time, a horror movie moment, frozen in reality. Scientists continue to search for more encounters, hoping to unravel the life of this deep sea relic. But perhaps it is the mystery that keeps the goblin shark so fascinating. It is a glimpse into an ancient world that still lingers far below the surface, hidden in pressure silence and darkness. A predator from another age, armed with a mouth that doesn't just open, it attacks, the goblin shark is more than a curiosity. It's a reminder that the ocean still holds monsters, and they are very, very real. To truly understand the goblin shark is to peel back the layers of time. This creature isn't just strange, it's ancient. Evolution didn't just create the goblin shark, it preserved it. While countless species have adapted, mutated, and vanished, this one has remained eerily consistent, as though time chose to leave it untouched. But why? 
Its evolutionary lineage dates back to the Cretaceous period, making it one of the oldest surviving shark species on the planet. Belonging to the order Lamniforms, it shares distant relatives with Great Whites and Makos, but its branch split off long ago. Unlike its fast-swimming cousins, the goblin shark adapted for a slower, darker, more hidden life. Its adaptations are a direct result of deep-sea living. Below 1,000 meters, the ocean is cold, high pressure, and completely dark. Food is scarce, competition is fierce, and evolution becomes less about speed and more about efficiency. In this lightless realm, the goblin shark's sensitive rostrum, protrusible jaws, and energy-saving body design are evolutionary masterpieces. The jaw projection mechanism is especially fascinating from an evolutionary standpoint. Most fish rely on suction or ram feeding. The goblin shark's slingshot-style jaw, however, is unique even among sharks. It allows it to bridge the gap between stealth and violence, acting with precision while floating slowly through the water column. This combination of stillness and sudden force may be why it has survived relatively unchanged for millions of years. But evolution hasn't just shaped the shark's biology, it has influenced its behavior too. The goblin shark doesn't patrol coral reefs or hunt in packs, it's a loner. Its slow metabolism suits an ambush predator, one that strikes only when the odds are heavily in its favor. In a way, it's a master of minimalism, an apex predator by patience, not power. Culturally, the goblin shark has inspired awe and fear alike. Its grotesque appearance and mysterious lifestyle have made it a figure of myth in several coastal cultures, particularly in Japan. There, its name Tenguzame likens it to the Tengu, a mythical creature with a long nose and supernatural powers. Some ancient fishing legends warned of sea demons with extending jaws that snatched up careless sailors. Whether myth or misunderstood biology, these stories highlight how deeply unsettling the goblin shark's design is to the human psyche. In modern media, the shark has become something of a deep sea icon. It has appeared in documentaries, horror-themed science shows, and online animations usually labeled as the ugliest shark alive or the ocean's alien. While the design garners attention, it often overshadows the reality. The goblin shark is not a monster, but a rare and fragile creature surviving on the very edge of what life can endure. Ecologically, the goblin shark plays a quiet but important role in deep sea ecosystems. It helps control populations of mesopelagic fish squid and crustaceans. Its presence in multiple oceanic regions suggests a wider influence than initially thought, potentially acting as a stabilizer in benthic food webs. Its method of hunting careful, deliberate, and energy efficient may reflect the evolutionary pressures placed on all predators in the deep. Yet the goblin shark remains elusive Despite occasional captures, scientists know little about its reproduction lifespan or social structures. It's unclear how often they breed, how long they live, or what their population numbers truly are. Tagging a goblin shark in its native habitat is nearly impossible. Uh, submersibles and deep sea ROEs have only captured fleeting moments. There are theories, however. Some researchers propose that goblin sharks may live decades, perhaps even over a century, due to their slow metabolism and deep sea lifestyle. Others suspect they may have seasonal migrations along the continental shelf, staying near food sources and stable currents. Genetic studies hint at surprisingly diverse populations, suggesting they travel farther than once believed. Sadly, as with many deep sea animals, the goblin shark is threatened not by direct hunting, but by bycatch and deep sea trawling. These practices sweep across the ocean floor, often indiscriminately capturing and killing rare species that were never the target. For creatures like the goblin shark, which reproduce slowly and live far from human contact, even small disruptions can be catastrophic. Climate change may also affect them in Bouldaus indirectly. As ocean temperatures shift and currents weaken the ecosystems that support deep sea life, may collapse or drift. Nutrient flows from surface waters may lessen starving the creatures below. The goblin shark's survival 
is tied not just to the deep, but to the surface world too. Still, there is hope. Increased awareness, improved fishing regulations, and the rise of deep sea conservation zones may help protect not only the goblin shark, but thousands of undiscovered species living in similar conditions. Scientists and filmmakers continue to seek encounters with these enigmatic creatures, not to exploit them, but to understand them. Because the goblin shark reminds us of something powerful that we have not yet seen all the world, that ancient things still lurk where no light shines, that there are predators more precise than powerful, more alien than familiar. It reminds us that the ocean is vast and it is old. And in its depths are creatures like the goblin shark, not monsters, but survivors. A relic of the deep, a question with teeth, a living fossil that still defies time,